Okay, FAQ number 65, Charity or Love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Uh, this is another one of the debates between a lot of the new versions and even some of the Bibles that were before the King James Bible. There was a debate back and forth, should it be charity or love in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And uh, I'll show you here real quickly. Um, if you have your Bible and you're in 1 Corinthians 13, I've got to turn there actually. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. Uh, the Bishop's Bible says, Love. Now abideth faith, hope, and love, these three, but the chief of these is love. Okay? The... Uh, Tyndale Bible, William Tyndale. Now by the faith, hope, and love, even these three, but the chief of these is love. You say, well then, uh, I guess charity must be a new reading. Not so. Because if you look at what, or, uh, John Wycliffe's translation back in the 1300s, um, you know, basically almost 200 years before Tyndale and, of course, the Bishop's Bible, it says, 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13 says, and now... Um, now dwell in faith, hope, and charity, these three, but the most of these is charity. So this debate back and forth has been going on for a while. And I think it's absolutely essential that the word is charity. And people say, well, charity just means love and action. Well, not necessarily. Um, you see, charity is a lot deeper of a word in its meaning. And, you know, you can go to Webster's 1828, and you can go to this, and you can go to that other source. Don't really need to. Let's look at the actual uh, verses here. Verse 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. And here's where it gets interesting. Verse 4. Charity suffereth long, and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Charity has an element of self-sacrifice in it. Love can or can't. You can have love for something and not have any self-sacrifice on your part for that thing or whatever else. Love is often associated with greed here in America and other countries out there. Love is often associated, very often associated with lust. Uh, that's not charity. Okay. And you can pretend to love somebody and do things for people but yet be self-serving. Charity is not that way. Charity will cost you something. There's one of uh, my wife and I, one of our favorite songs, there's an uh, album that we have, and they sing, there's a song that says, uh, I will not offer anything that costs me nothing. You know, I'll, I, I'll put before the Lord nothing less but my very best. You know, it's, it's charity is something that will cost you. Love isn't always that way. I understand that there are loving relationships and things that a uh, uh, husband and wife, the love of a husband and wife, there's self-sacrifice there. But there are many times husbands and wives, even though they love one another, they do things that are not charitable. Okay, They don't suffer long, like it says there in verse 4. Um, and you know, you can go down through all these verses and weigh things out between charity and love. And I had a whole st study on that. I did that way back in 2009, I think it was, and I don't know if it's still on YouTube or not. I'm not. I'm not even sure. I don't know if it's on my channel or not. Um, let me just look it up here quick. But you know, the word charity definitely is the right one. Nope, I don't have it on here. I don't know. I think there might be some other channels that do have that. If if you do have that old study, you can put it 
down in the uh, comment section there, put a link to it, you know, and people can go there and listen to it. It's a really old study I did a long time ago. But, you know, charity is the right word. And when you see this, this thing of these new versionists and, and, you know, they're saying about it's properly translated as love, they don't know what they're talking about. So just uh, thought that was an interesting one to go over and uh, stick with your King James Bible. And again, like I showed you there, uh, Wycliffe actually said charity. So, um, you know, 200 years before Tyndale and 300 before the King James came out. So that reading was available. It was definitely there. And uh, it's important to stick with charity.